in San Francisco. I really like Golden Gate Park because the quality of architecture in the park, the museums, is very inspirational to me. The thoughtfulness of the design, how it's working with the context, how it's working with the landscape, those are the inspirations that I take from that site. I'm a licensed architect in the state of California, and I work at SCB Architects based in San Francisco. I entered the Future of Shade competition because it was allowing us to use fabric as the material for our design. The responsive shading system is the design of an enclosure system for a high-rise tower. It's comprised of fabric elements and the dynamic controlling system driven by the environmental condition and also the user requirements. When I was living in Austin, there were so many glass towers getting built. They need to be differentiated from each other. They need to be iconic. What's intriguing to me is that this suggests that now with, with fabric, with textiles, we could create shade, create spaces of interest, create new views, both from inside and from outside, but also it enlivens a facade that would otherwise probably be ignored. The idea that the skin is responsive is really an appealing part of using fabric for the, the, the project. Each user on different parts of the building at different times of the day, they have different requirements. Somebody, you know, is closing off the shade, somebody is opening up the shade. We have these strips of fabric and the change is like pinching different parts of that fabric. By using fabric, keeping some of the sun off, the glazing helps cut down on the energy use of the building. I'm proud of architects, because when we are talking about architecture, I think most people, they think about buildings. But when I'm talking about architecture, I mean really high quality, well thought design. Architecture has done something that could have contributed to the improvement of our city, of our space, of our you know, condition of living. These all have great impact on our daily life.